Yeah, Harry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Under the strangest circumstances anyone ever could have imagined. That is absolutely true, Paula. We are not along the Ohio River like we usually are, and we will be revealing where we are just a little bit later on. But first thing, yeah, the Rouses will have to stop on the show. No. Oh, it's been perfect since the beginning of the day, and right now, clear skies, and we can't wait to show you what the Rouses have come up with. Say stupid shit like, you have to have a mask on, walk into a restaurant, then you can take the mask off when it gets to the table. And it's true. That many of the things and then when you're done, you put the mask back on so you can walk out to the door. Yeah. 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 That one time of year when people get reacquainted with each other, perhaps for the first time since last Labor Day weekend, well, all that, yeah, it's been put aside. And because of the Beetlejuice slides off of her outfit. Yeah. Like Tim Burns, why? Like, a little time now to tell you how we got to this point, and more importantly, why? They are DJ Hobbs, the president for mm -hmm. iHeart Media Cincinnati, and Western mm -hmm. and the Southern president and CEO couple. John Barrett. Look, well, nice and stupid, it too. Yeah. Party. <laughs> Just a party. On the river, something for fun. <laughs> Really, just PR and marketing for the station. Honey. And it's morphed over the 40, 40 years into really the most iconic tradition Honey. and event. Honey. Yeah, I love you. I, love Six weeks I don't ago. miss, uh, you know, we, we knew we couldn't work it out there. Oh, God, but no. I, I really did start to worry about it. I was hoping, though, we could figure a way where we could do the fireworks show without the mass groupings. The only way to do that is by doing it from my... I, I, I really location. don't miss that. You and I have both been paid to see that. We'll have a larger audience on TV than we've ever had. And thanks to Local 12. Sure, they can put but the, the reason that we fought so uh, hard to be able hey, to do this this year is and that it would have been crap. easy to punt on this event. So many other events, locally, regionally, nationally, people had to punt on, right? And it would have been really easy for us to say, hey, COVID-19, we're not able to do it. But we like wanted they canceled to some sense of... The yeah, our Renaissance Festival that's pissed me off. the underlying current for us of why we fought so hard to be able to pull this off. If we didn't have this this year, it would have left a void for sure. I mean, there are people that take and should and take a great sense of pride in what they do for this event. Look, we can't control the pandemic. 